Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how to recreate this makeup look that I'm wearing and I really wanted to create something still summery going into the fall and very kind of soft and glamorous and romantic. Something about the beginning of fall just excites me and I was super excited to get on here and create this makeup look. It's colorful yet very romantic at the same time so I think this will be a perfect look to go on a date with your significant other. It's been a while since I've used the Gwen Stefani palette and I really wanted to use it because it's definitely one of my favorites. By the way, I'm sorry you guys can hear some noise, there's construction going on, but I really wanted to keep it short and simple in this intro so if you guys would like to see how to get this makeup look then just keep on watching i'm going to start off by moisturizing my lips with my rosebud salve next i'll be filling in my eyebrows with the anastasia dip brow pomade and also with the clear brow gel so recently i kind of switched on my brow routine and i started applying the clear brow gel first and then filling in my eyebrows and I seriously found this a lot easier and for some reason I've been liking the way my eyebrows come out this way better so that's why I decided to go ahead and just show you guys. Taking my Maybelline Better Skin Concealer, I'm going to apply this all over my eyelid and this is going to even out the discoloration of my eyelids and also prep it for eyeshadow. Then I'll be dusting some translucent powder right on top. For the eyes today, I'm using the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani eyeshadow palette and I'll be taking this light brown shade and sweeping this right in my crease with a Stila blending brush. And this is going to be our transition shade. I wanted to take a very light brownish shade and build it up. I really wanted the eyes to be very soft and romantic. Then taking the shade right next to it, which is a little bit of a darker brown, I'm going to be working this right in my crease just to give more depth and dimension. I'm not going to be applying too much of this, just very little bit to give some definition to the crease. And I am applying it with a little small blending brush. And to make sure everything is well blended, I'm going back in with that Stilazi blending brush. Taking the pink shimmery shade on a flat brush, I'll be placing this all over my eyelids. Taking my black eyeliner, I'm going to be tight lining since I will be skipping out on the wing liner today. Then I'll be curling my lashes for some lift and applying a couple of coats of this Telescopic Carbon Mascara, which is my favorite by the way. At first, I was going to apply some eyelashes, but I really liked it with mascara, so I just left it as is. Moving on to the face, I'll be applying my Too Faced Hangover Primer. And this is going to help our makeup last all day. And this smells so good. I am seriously considering buying the full size product because I love it. And then to minimize the look of pores, I'm using the Maybelline Pore Filler. Taking my color wheel, I'll be color correcting. So I'll be taking the green shade to cancel out any redness. And I'll be applying this on all the areas where there's redness and I want to cover my blemishes. And with a damp beauty blender, I'm just going to blend it in very little bit. Then apply some translucent powder on top to create a barrier so it doesn't mix in with the foundation. For foundation, I'm using my Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation and I am in the shade Natural. And today I'll be working it in with the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge, which I absolutely love and I feel like it's been a while since I've used it on camera. Since I wanted the face to look very light and luminous, I decided to go in with the Beauty Sponge today. And to conceal my dark circles, I'll first be taking the orange shade and this is going to help cover that darkness underneath the eyes. And I'm going to blend it in with my finger, then set it with some translucent powder so it doesn't mix in with the concealer. 
Then I'll be applying my Maybelline Better Skin Concealer, which is my favorite, you guys. I seriously love this concealer with all my heart. And I'll also be taking this right on my forehead, on the bridge of my nose, and also on my chin. And this is going to help bring more illumination. And taking the NYX Duo, I forgot what this is called, but I'll have it down below. I'll be using the dark shade just to contour. And recently, I've been into cream contouring. I really like the way... This looks on the skin, it just makes it appear more natural and it prevents me from applying so much powder product and drying out my face. So I will be blending everything out with my damp sponge and then with a brush from BH Cosmetics, I'll be blending out the contour. I'm so sorry if I sound a little off in this video, it's just I I'm still sick, so <laughs> bear with me. <laughs> Taking the RCMA translucent powder, I'll be baking in all the areas where I concealed, so underneath my eyes, my forehead, down the bridge of my nose. And then taking my shade and light palette, I'm going to take the middle and darkest shade, and I'll be running this on all the areas where I contoured and want some dimension. So underneath my cheekbones, on my temples, on my jawline and also on the sides of my nose and to really clean up that contour i'm going to take some of that powder and run it right underneath and then i'll also be contouring the sides of my nose just to make it appear slimmer then taking the it cosmetics wand ball brush which is my favorite brush to buff out my product i'm going to sweep all the areas where i applied that powder then taking my bh cosmetics tan color blush palette i'll be taking this mauvey pink shade and sweeping this right on my cheeks just to bring some color to my face and taking the Sephora highlight that I used in my previous video, which I did say I am in love with because it gives a beautiful purple undertone reflect, I'll be applying this right on top of my cheekbones for that highlight. Then taking that brown shade we used in our crease, I'll be applying this right underneath my lash line just to finish off the eyes. And for my waterline, I'll be running my NYX Cosmetics Wonder Pencil and applying some mascara to make my eyes appear bigger. Then taking the lime green shade in the palette, I'll be placing this on my inner corners. I forgot to show this, but I am taking Bath Water and this is the second shade in the palette and I'll be placing this on my brow bone. Taking the Model & Co Lip Liner, I'm going to be using this to outline my lips and also fill them in because it's a beautiful pinkyish shade. For lip gloss, I'm using the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Tiramisu, which is one of my favorite lip glosses. And to finish off this look, I'll be using the Scandinavia Finishing Spray. recreate this makeup look please go ahead and send me your pictures because I absolutely love to look at them don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it stick around by subscribing to receive more notifications from me don't forget to follow my social media as well that is pretty much it for this video I really hope you guys enjoyed it and more than anything I love you you guys are fabulous have a wonderful week and I'll see you in my next video bye so really quick I'm wearing a long sleeve and it's like 100 degrees today I'm dying.